The first three figures are shown below. Figure one, five, six. Figure two, eight. Figure three, 11. It is a constant difference of three. Okay, so there's a framework that we want to teach our students here. Constant difference, use this framework. For every one more figure, In this case, we have three more states. From figure one to figure 20, how many more figures is that? Figure 20 minus figure one, that would be 19 more figures. How many more sticks would you need? 19 more figures that will give us 57 more sticks. Three times 19, 57 more. More from? the number of sticks in figure one. So 57 plus five, that will give us 62 sticks for part A. Using the same framework. Which figure has 71 sticks? Let's use figure one as base. Let's test it out. Which figure has 71 sticks? How many more sticks from figure one? Figure one, we have five sticks. We need sixty-six more sticks. So if one more figure is three more sticks. Sixty six more figures. Sorry, sixty six more sticks will give us how many more figures? Sixty six divided by three. Twenty two more. Twenty two more figures from figure one. Hence, in figure 23, we have 71 sticks. The figure is made up of four identical squares of side 8 cm. Find the area of the shaded figure. At P3 and P4 level, you guys are not taught the area of a triangle formula. But fret not, all you need to do is rearrange the shaded parts. To get one small square. So the area of the shaded figure is equal to eight by eight, which is actually a square. So that will give us eight times eight, 64 and of course 64 centimeter square for the area two identical desks cost 110 more than three identical tables you're given the cost of the two desk let's draw a simple comparison model two desks 110 more. So I would place 110 here. That is the difference. The cost of the two desks is 800. Are you able to find the cost of the three tables? We 
we will get 800 minus 110. And that will give us 690. That will be the cost of three tables. One table will give us 230. 10 tables $230 times 10, and we get $2,300. Beatrice has twice as many bags as Annabelle. After Beatrice gave six of her bagels to Annabelle. Internal transfer, right? Okay, so this suggests that the total, it's a constant total question type. The total stays the same. The total number of bagels between Beatrice and Annabelle before and after is the same. Beatrice twice, two units. Annabelle, one unit. As you can see here, at the after stage, Annabelle would have two parts. Beatrice would have three parts. As seen here in the after stage. But because we are able to recognize that it's constant total, so what we're going to do is to find out what is the lowest common multiple of this three and the five here, which is equals to 15. Hence, I'm going to put five units here. Times five, five, five. Times three, three, three. What is the difference in units right now for B trees? B trees at first, 10 units. B trees in the end, nine units. Hence, the difference would be equals to one unit and that will give us six beggars. How many beggars did Annabelle have in the end? What is the value of six units? Six times six, 36 beggars. 